Hey guys, TrueGreen7 here, and in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys my opinion on the new Pokemon that were officially revealed in the US today. You know, the country that I live in. Keep in mind that this isn't a breaking news video, but rather a way to inform you guys on Sun and Moon while telling you what I think about the info. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the first Pokemon is Wimpod, a very wimpy isopod horseshoe crab thing. It runs away from danger using its Wimp Out ability, which makes Wimpod run away or switch out whenever its HP drops below half. They are also basically seafloor Roombas. They just pick up whatever they see on the ground. Now, I personally have no harsh opinion on this Pokemon. All I can say is that it better evolve or else I'll be kind of disappointed. Something as badass as Kabutops would be appreciated. Next is Bounceweet. It's a bouncing fruit based on the Mangosteen, which is literally a bounce wheat in the real world. It smells delicious, and people use it to freshen their houses, but some wild Pokemon swallow them whole. Now this is where it gets crazy, if it wasn't already crazy. Apparently when it's running away from predators, it skips along the ground. Since its bouncy movements don't indicate that it's in danger, and that it's in desperate need of help, nobody ever comes to its aid. That's really sad. I personally love Pokemon that are based on fruit, and as a kid I always made a Pokemon based on apples and watermelons, so this Pokemon is actually very nostalgic to me. It's exactly what I want from a fruit Pokemon. Comfe is a thing, and frankly, this region is too Hawaiian. Other regions are inspired by specific locations, but not every Pokemon is based on something from that location. Now Comfe is yet another fairy Pokemon with a flower theme that isn't a grass type. But here it makes sense since the flowers aren't actually part of its body. It's cute and I love its battle animation. Its triage ability allows HP restoring moves to gain the highest priority in battle. Which is really cool, I'm loving all these new and fun abilities. Mudsdale is basically a mud horse and does horse things. Its stamina ability boosts its defense when hit by an attack. This Clydesdale Pokemon is really cool in my opinion. I can't think of anything to complain about. I mean, it looks dirty, but you know, that's that's the point. It's a satisfying horse Pokemon, so good job, Game Freak. Now, the next two Pokemon were leaked a week ago, but I waited to cover them once the English names were revealed. When I first saw Mimikyu, I didn't like it, but now I love it. Its concept is amazing. A ghost that hides under a Pikachu veil that it constructed is really cool. The only problem is that the cloth could have resembled a Pokemon that doesn't already exist, but I guess the Pikachu appearance makes the backstory more straightforward forward and clear since we already understand now what it's all about, just by looking at it. Its ability allows it to take no damage the first time it is attacked. Its disguise then fades away. I also want to say how excited I am for all the battle backgrounds in Sun and Moon. I'm loving every single environment I see in these trailers. Okay, and the last Pokemon is Beware. I love its name and concept, but its design is too simple for me when compared to every other bear Pokemon, which I think are all awesome. It really does look like a combination between a bear and a red panda, but I wish they would have saved the red panda origin for another Pokemon. Its fluffy ability allows Beware to take half damage from physical moves, but makes it weak to fire type moves. I'm perfectly content with this Pokemon being a huge and dangerous hugging machine. I actually love it. I know that this is a coincidence and totally unintentional, but this Pokemon is called the Strong Arm Pokemon. And in Full Metal Alchemist, a character with the title The Strong Arm Alchemist is also a huge hugging machine. There are just so many parallels. The feature to host your own Global Link competitions was also revealed, and now you can raise your Pokemon's IVs once it hits level 100, which I think is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Speaking of features, why not click the top right box to see my video on all the features in Pokemon, and the bottom video to see a Sun and Moon Top 10. Now if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more opinions, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.